I'm still in a bit of disbelief about the latest price increase from Celine, but hey, let's get into it. It's 2023. Price increases are simply becoming a way of life for us all, especially in our little luxury handbag world. And so after the last Celine price increase back in March of 2023, yeah, that was only three months ago. I decided I was done tracking and creating content around price increases simply because they're inevitable at this point. They're going to happen at least once or twice a year. That was until Celine decided to sneak in another price increase earlier this week, a short three months after their last price increase back in the spring. But surely they're not gonna increase prices on items they've already increased earlier in the year. No, they wouldn't do that. Yeah, right, of course they decided to do that. And in looking back at some of the prices of some of these items that have increased in just this year alone, the numbers absolutely blew me away. But on a lighter note, I do have a small little unboxing to share from Celine. We'll get through all this price increase talk first and we'll save the good stuff for the end, so you'll wanna stick around for that. Before we get into discussing what increased and by how much, just want to level set things. So the annual rate of inflation here in the United States for the previous 12 months, ending May 2023, was 4%, according to the U.S. Labor Department. Now getting into the June 2023 Celine price increases, which went into effect earlier this week, but did not affect the majority of items. There were, by my accounts, about 14 pieces that were affected or did see an increase anywhere from a mere 2% going all the way up to 29% or in terms of dollars anywhere from $100 to $500. Now normally in these types of videos I don't cover everything just because normally there are a lot of things that are affected but with this latest round of price increases with it only being 14 pieces we're just going to go ahead and go through everything. 14 pieces is still a lot, however, especially when we consider new retail prices, dollar increases, and percentage increases, so I will be referring to my little handy dandy chart. Starting things off with the Triumph collection because there were quite a few Triumph pieces that saw an increase, including the wallet on chains. I would say these ones took quite a hit. The shiny calfskin version increased $500 or 29% and is now $22.50. The sequin version, yes, this little beauty right here, in addition to the canvas version, both went up $350. So this one in sequins, this was a 16% increase, now coming in at a retail price of $2,500. The canvas version, however, that one saw a 22% increase and now retails for $19.50. The wallet on strap went up $300, now retailing for $1,700, a 21% increase. The envelope Triumph bag in Triumph canvas is now $28.50 after seeing a $400 increase or 16% increase. And rounding out the Triumph increases was the Triumph shoulder bag in natural calfskin, which went up $250 or 8% and now retailing for $34.50. Sticking within the natural calfskin pieces, but moving now to the 16 design, the small 16 bag in natural calfskin went up $200 or 4%. The mini 16 in natural calfskin went up $150 or 4%. And the classic 16 bag in natural calfskin went up $100 or 2%. Now word to the wise, 2%, 4% doesn't really sound that drastic, but don't be fooled. We'll be coming back to those increases here momentarily. Going now to the Kabod totes in textile, both going up $150, the small saw a 9% increase, now coming in at $1,800, and the large was an 8% increase, now coming in at $1,950. Just a couple more pieces, moving on now to the Ava style. Now, the majority of the Ava bags did not see an increase. However, the Ava bag in textile did see an increase, going up $150, now to $1,950, which was an 8% increase. And then rounding out the list, an honorable mention would be the medium um, croquet, croquette bags in both canvas and shiny calfskin, both increasing $200. The canvas now at $1,600 was a 14% increase and the shiny calfskin now at $1,950 was an 11% increase. Again, with the June 2023 Celine price increase, these items increased anywhere from $100 to $500 or 2 to 29%. However, remember, we've already had one other price increase back in March of this year. So a lot of these pieces have actually increased twice since the beginning of the year. And when I went back and looked at where some of these pieces literally started the year, so as of January 1st, going through two price increases to now see where their current retails are, some of these, yeah, are just simply ridiculous. 
For example, looking at the wallet on chain and sequins, this piece at the beginning of the year retailed for $19.50. Fast forward about six months, this now retails for $2,500. A $550 increase or 28% increase. Now you may be looking at this and saying, well, it's covered in sequins. Maybe the increased price is having to account for the increase in time that it takes to manufacture this because it is very intricate as far as having to stitch or attach all the sequins onto it. So it's from a manufacturing standpoint. Well, conversely, the wallet on chain in shiny calf skin that is just all leather, no sequins, also increased $550 or 32% since the beginning of the year. Well, maybe it's a leather thing. It must be. The cost of leather is what's increasing and that's what's driving up the prices of these pieces at retail. The highest percentage increase since the start of the year coming in at 38 and 34% are the textile kebab totes in these small and large sizes. Well, hold up, the percentage increases on these are so much higher because their starting price points were so much lower in comparison to some of these other items. While yes, that is true, the dollar increases were among the highest on the list, both coming in at a $500 increase from the start of the year up until now. Now the highest dollar increase so far for 2023 was actually the small 16 in natural calfskin, increasing $600 or 14%. If you're like me and you're trying to find some kind of rhyme or reason as to why select items increased or rather why other items continue increasing over time, it's so perplexing. Now I have a couple theories anywhere from simply the cost of some of these components increasing, which is driving up the cost of the overall item to an increase in demand and maybe adding additional strain on their manufacturing process. And as a way to kind of overcome that or rather course correct, they are taking a price increase to again, try and level set things. But it's the other styles that really still have me scratching my head. Now looking at this bag here, the croquet, the croak, however you pronounce the name of this bag, but looking at this style, it is a very trendy Y2K type of shoulder bag. And it's really, if you think about it, it's a less expensive alternative to say the Ava or even other shoulder style bags from other fashion houses. The one that this really reminds me of is the Clio from Prada. And if we think about this trend, this Y2K trend, it's still going pretty strong. So so I'm sure Celine took a step back and said, you know what, we could probably make better margin or more profit on this bag if we increase the price of it. But it's interesting because yes, they increase the price of it, but where the price point still sits at under $2,000, when you start to compare it against other designs out there, it's still coming in as that less expensive alternative, which still makes it appealing for those that want to jump on this Y2K trend. As for the wallets on chain in the envelope bag, I have a similar theory on this. So the Triumph style has been so incredibly popular this year between the medium and the teen sizes, but the retail price on those bags is quite high, like it's up there. So unless you really like those styles, you're probably not gonna spend that kind of money on those bags. You can get a very similar style or at least kind of have that Triumph look for a little bit less of a price with say the shoulder version. Obviously this one in shiny calfskin, you have the Triumph class on the front, definitely gives off that similar vibe as the teen and the medium size. But to go even further, if you're looking to have that look, but just for a little bit less, you could go with a wallet on chain or the envelope bag. Now that envelope bag was a really good alternative because it was practically identical to the medium size in terms of dimensions. The only difference, like the length and the height of the bag were the same, it was the depth. The depth on the envelope bag was one inch skinnier in comparison to the depth on the medium triumph. And I am sure Celine saw sales of these styles possibly outpacing those of the teen or the medium sizes and they thought, you know what, we need to narrow down this gap. And because of the popularity of Celine right now, they can do that by raising the price on some of these less expensive alternatives in the Triumph style, such as wallets on chain and envelope bags, and consumers are going to pay it. But also kind of conversely, by narrowing down the gap, it puts some of the, the shoulder, teen and medium sizes just that much closer to our reach to where some consumers may say, you know what, 
it's only X number of dollars more, I may as well spend just a little bit more and get the shoulder version, or I may as well spend a little bit more and get the teen or the medium size. So it makes it just a little bit easier for us to justify that increased price or just kind of naturally step ourselves up into some of those higher price pointed goods. So from a business perspective, I, I gotta hand it to Celine. I think it's a good strategy, but as a consumer, I don't like it. I really, really don't like it. And who knows how many more increases we're gonna see from Celine or any of these other fashion houses between now and the end of the year. So as always, if you are thinking about something or really seriously considering purchasing something, do it sooner rather than later in order to save yourself a little bit of money. Of course, that's only if you're able to do so in a very financially sound type of way. But I know for me personally, I had my eye on the wallet on strap for the longest time and I was really hesitating to spend $1,400 on it and now, yeah, see what that did for me? Now it's $300 more, now it's 1,700. So I'm definitely gonna have to spend a little bit more time thinking about that one. I just, I didn't think that they were gonna increase it. Like it's not that popular of a design. They, it's coated canvas. Like why would they increase the price on that? But yeah, I just, I thought it was safe. I thought it was safe. But what about you all out there? Was anyone else thinking about any of the pieces that were affected in this latest round of price increases? Are you still gonna be making a purchase? Are you now kind of shifting and moving to something else? let us know in the comment section down below. But moving away from the price increase and onto something I picked up on sale. Yes, I was able to snag something in Celine's summer sale and I still cannot believe that I was able to not only get this item but get it on sale. Just makes it that much sweeter because I featured it in my 2023 wish list video from back in when, January? So the fact that I now own these, it's just, yeah, I'm just really, really excited. And especially because of the timing on this just makes it perfect for the summer. I cannot wait to start wearing my tree ounce sandals. So excited for these. I have not actually taken these out of the house yet. I have been wearing them just kind of around the house a little bit. And surprisingly for a sandal that is not very flexible and is pretty hard, like there's no padding or cushioning on here, they've been fairly comfortable. So I cannot wait to start wearing these, especially because it is now summer here where I live. It is hot, it is sandal weather. So I am super excited for these. But if you're into this type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.